Hello, this is Simon from BoatandGuitar.co.uk and this is part two of my tutorial on how to play El Testament de Amelia, a popular guitar piece. And we're starting at bar 17. Now bar 17 through to bar 24 makes use of a lot of right hand artificial harmonics. So we need to get the left hand sorted out and get it to be purely automatic so that you then can concentrate on hitting the right notes with the right hand. So let's start at bar 17. We need our little finger on A on the first string, fifth fret. And we play that along with the open fourth string. We drop down to the first fret, first string, F, and the second finger onto your third string, second fret, A. Followed by G, on the third fret of the first string. So that is. The little finger now slides up two frets back to the A. We put the first finger on the fifth string third fret onto the C. The third finger onto the second string fourth fret E flat. And the second finger on to um, the fourth string fourth fret. We play the uh, fifth string and first string together, and then the fourth and second string together. And then the little finger moves up one fret to B flat. So that now is. Now this is important. Keep your fingers on the strings. And then what we'll do is slide those down to the first position, which is now giving us B flat on the first string, uh, first fret of the fifth string, E on the fourth string, second fret, um, D flat on the second string, second fret, and the little finger on uh, the first string, third fret on G. So now we play the fifth string and first string together, followed by the chord, which is the fourth and second strings, then the open fifth string. And now bar 20 is a standard D minor chord. So we have the first finger on the first string, first fret, a little finger on the second string, third fret on D, and the second finger on the third string, second fret A. So we play um, the two outer strings, first and sixth string, second and third string chord, the open fifth string. So the first four bars go like this. Slide the fingers down. Bar 21, we have a bar chord at the first fret. Keep the little finger uh, anchored on that second string D at the third fret. So we put the bar across at the first fret, which now gives us um, uh, B flat on the fifth string, G sharp on the third string, and the D, which we're already covering from the previous bar. So we're now playing um, fifth string, third string, second string together. The first string is a single note. We have the, a little um, left hand action now where we lift the first finger, or pivot that first finger up to give us the open first string E and then that finger goes back down, back to the F. So bar 21 is now. Bar 22, we have the little finger on the first string third fret, and we play that along with the open fifth string A. Place the third finger on the second string, C sharp, second fret, and the second finger on the third string, second fret, A, to give us our chord. And then the final note of bar 22 is with the first finger, F. So bar 22 is, so that's F, first fret, first string. And then finally in bar 23, Slide the third finger 
up to the D at your third fret on the second string and we place the first finger on the A on your third string second fret and the second finger on the fourth string third fret so that's So that note is, um, I'll play that from bar 17. Like I said before, that left hand action's got to be purely automatic so that you can concentrate on using um, the right hand to get the uh, right artificial harmonics. So as I said, that's got to be perfectly automatic in your left hand. So that you can now concentrate on these um, awkward artificial harmonics. Um, so now over to the right hand and we'll sort out these troublesome harmonics. Now then, from bar 17 we do have a sequence of artificial harmonics. Uh, now for those of you who are not familiar with how to uh, do this technique, what we need to do, we need to find um, the melody note an octave higher with the right hand uh, from the left hand. So the, the actual opening notes of bar 17 are A um, on the first string, fifth fret, played with the open fourth string D. But we also need to play that, or finger that note, one octave higher at the 17th fret. Now what we have to do is very, very lightly touch that first string directly over the metal fret and with the right hand third finger, we pluck the note. Simultaneously, as we're playing that melody note, we need to play the bass note with the thumb. So that is now. Now, when I play these artificial harmonics, I try and flatten the index finger out so that I'm using quite a bit of the pad of the finger to touch that string. Some players try to do it with the extreme tip of the finger. That is, that is quite difficult to do. So straighten your finger out, use more of the pad of the finger and then we can do the harmonic. Now the second beat, we're now dropping down to F and A with the left hand as we learned earlier, and the octave melody note is on the first string, 13th fret. So now we're playing uh, the third string and first string together with the harmonic on the top string. And the third beat now is our little fingers of the left hand is landing on the G at the third fret, first string, and then we play the harmonic at the 15th fret. So we now have that again uh, on bar 18 we need to prepare the left hand on the chord which is A and our C F sharp and E flat so that we can now play our chord so we're playing the fifth string and the first string with the harmonic on the top string again at that 17th fret play the chord in between that C flat and the F sharp melody note and then the little finger goes up another fret and we play the th third harmonic note at the 18th fret so that now gives us the left hand fingers don't come off the strings they slide now down 
into the first position, giving us our B flat and G on the top uh, and fifth string. You've got the second and fourth string as the chord, and then finally we'll be playing the bass note. But the harmonic now is on the first string, 15th fret. So we play that with the thumb and the index finger again, plucking it with the third finger. We play the chord in between using the thumb and middle finger, and then our bass note. And then we, on bar 20, we drop into our D minor chord um, with the first finger on the F on the first string and the D and the A on the second and third string. And the octave harmonic is at the 13th fret. So we play the two outer strings and then the chord using the middle and third fingers and then the bass note with the thumb. So now that's giving us play that again. Oops. Uh, bar 21, we have the bar chord at the first fret. Now this is a tricky one. Um, so we'd be playing the B flat on the fifth string, the G sharp on the third string, and the harmonic now is on the second string. And that harmonic of D is actually played at the 15th fret second string. But we're also playing the fifth string and third string together, along with the harmonic. Now, in order to do this, we use the thumb, for the bass note, the middle finger playing the third string, the third finger playing the second string, and then with the index finger, we can do the harmonic. That's now followed by the single note of F on the first string, 13th fret. Pivot the finger up, play the 12th fret first string, giving us the E, finger back down to give us the F again. So that is now. So it's. Uh, by 22, we have our G with the little finger on the first string. And we're playing the bass note um, of A, the fifth string. So that now is the harmonic at the ninth, um, the 15th fret, sorry, 15th fret on the first string, along with the fifth string, open. We have the chord, which is C sharp and A, which we can play with the middle and third fingers. We drop down to the F on the first string, and the harmonic is at the 13th fret, so we play that. And then finally, we're back to a D minor chord. So we have the third finger on the second string, third fret, with A and F on the third and fourth string. And we play the harmonic along with the sixth string bass note. Um, so the harmonic is on the, on the second string, 15th fret. So I'll go through that again. So it's... That is the uh, artificial harmonic section of this uh, piece. Uh, it does take a lot of practice. It's always a bit um, hit or miss whether you're going to get all the notes sounding clearly. Um, just lots and lots of practice is needed. Make sure your left hand is working uh, automatically. And 
hopefully then with plenty of practice you'll be able to get these um, harmonics. Remember I find it easier to flatten that finger out using more of the pad of the right hand when playing these harmonics and be very very light when you touch the strings. And now finally the final section uh, from bar 25 we're starting with um, the third finger on the fourth string seventh fret on A and we're playing the sixth string and fourth string together and um, we slide to the um, third position to the third fret so we have a partial bar chord on the third fret in which we play the fourth string F the second string D and we have the little finger on A on the first string fifth fret so we play the three as a chord follow that by playing G on the fourth string fifth fret with the second finger which we then slide up to the A at the seventh fret which we play now keep that finger on and we need the third finger on the third string eighth fret E flat and the little finger on the first string eighth fret on C so we play that as a chord and then the second finger up another fret to the B flat so that's now giving us bar 27 we need um, a partial bar chord across to the fourth string um, which will give us our G at the fifth fret and we're playing that with the sixth string open right and then the chord that follows it on the beat two is the second finger on the third string sixth fret we're already covering the second string E at the fifth fret and we want the um, third finger on the first string sixth fret on B flat and then we take the third finger off to take us to the A on the first string fifth fret um, we then dropping down to the third fret of the fourth string back to the F and we're playing again a partial bar chord across to that F on the fourth string we play that we need the second string D which we're already covering with the bar and the little finger on B flat at the sixth fret on the first string so we play those two together followed by A on the first string fifth fret so now those four bars give us bar 29 we need third finger on the third string B flat at third fret and the little finger on G sharp on the first string fourth fret and we're playing the open sixth string the open um, fourth string the third string and the first string giving us that strange sounding um, chord um, the second finger drops down onto your fourth string fourth fret on the F we then play the E on the second fret second string uh, sorry on the fourth string and then that drops back on the second finger drops back onto the fourth uh, string third fret so that is now again we have a partial bar chord um, at the fifth fret covering the fourth strings because we need the G on the fourth string so we're playing the fifth string and the fourth string together and then we need on the second beat our chord which is C sharp on the third string sixth fret G on the second string eighth fret and A which we're covering with the bar so that is 
The last beat of the bar is F, which is on the fifth string, eighth fret, with the third finger. And that third finger note drops down to the fifth fret on the fifth string, and we're playing uh, the sixth string and fifth string together. We have a bar chord at the third fret covering four strings, so we're playing a fourth string, second string, and we have the little finger on A on the first string, giving us the chord, so we're playing. We have the open fifth string as a single note, and the final chord, uh, natural harmonics, played at the 12th fret on the sixth string, fifth string, and fourth string. Um, so that final section is up, B flat, play that again. Uh, our testament. I hope this tutorial um, was helpful and I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Uh, music and tabs are available from my website www.boltonguitar.co.uk. They are free um, so if you have a look at them. Okay now, bye for now.